Okay, as a cybersecurity student, we must have the basic knowledge of computer network. We should be able to answer questions like uh, what is network, what is internet, how the internet works, and how the data packet travel from one network to another network. So let's start with basic understanding of network and internet. So first question is what is network? A network can be of anything like the network of people connecting to different communities or the network of road connecting to different cities. In the context of computer computing, a network is a group of connected communicating devices such as computers, smartphones, printers, your laptop, etc. For example, let's say your smartphone is connected to your computer through Bluetooth. So it is a Bluetooth network of two different devices. Similarly, we can have all different kinds of network from mobile network to satellite network. Okay, so now we have a very good understanding of what is network. Let's dive into the past in the mid 1960 when computer were unable to communicate with one another. In 1967, ARPA, a research project agency of US Department of Defense presented its ideas for ARPANET. ARPANET was reality by 1969. So it was the first computer network. By 1970, we were able to communicate through computers by creating a network of computers. But still, we were not able to communicate between two different networks because each network has its own rules, its own language to communicate with other devices so this is when internet came into the game an internet is two or more network that can communicate with each other suppose you have a bluetooth network and a radio network if you are able to communicate between these two network then you can say that it is an internet so the internet is composed of hundreds and thousands of interconnected networks. Let's see the history of internet. In 1972, Wind Surf and Bob Kahn, both who were the member of core ARPANET group, collaborated on a project called Interneting Project. In October 1977, an internet was successfully demonstrated by communicating between three different networks. ARPANET, packet radio, and packet satellite. Today, internet has grown tremendously. It is made up of many wide and local area networks joined by different network devices and switching stations. Today's internet looks something like this. It is hierarchical in structure and it is run by many different internet service providers. You have your backbone ISPs at the top, then you have a regional ISP, and then you have your local ISPs. Okay, so now we have studied what is network, what is internet, and uh, a little bit about the history of internet. By moving forward, let's see what is a protocol. As a human, we need language to communicate with each other. Similarly, the different computing devices also need to follow some rules to communicate with each other. This set of rules that governs communication between devices is called protocols. A protocol defines what is communicated, how it is communicated, and when it is communicated. For example, we have different protocols like HTTP and HTTPS for your web client and web server, then we have ICMP, SMTP, TCP, UDP, and different terms of protocols. Now think about how we can construct a network of computers. To construct anything, if you have a model for that, then you can construct it in a very effective way. Suppose you have to build an apartment, and if you have a model for that, then you can uh, easily decide what are the different steps you have to take and when those steps required. So what is a model? A model is representation of characteristic of a real entity. For example, a model of airplane, a model of building, etc. Model gives us 
a clear idea of what are the different things that is required in construction. There are two types of model for constructing a good network of computing devices. First is OSI model and the second is TCP IP model. OSI stands for Open System Interconnection and it is an ISO standard that covers all aspects of network communication. The TCP IP model is more simpler than the OSI model. So guys that is all from my side. Thanks for listening me for a while and I'll catch you up in the next one. Till then be safe, be aware and be motivated.